What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This will be a spoiler free review for In A Violent Nature. In A Violent Nature, I believe, comes out next Friday. I thought it came out this Friday, but I was mistaken. It comes out next week. This is directed and written by Chris Nash. It is starring Ryan Barrett, Andrea Pavlovic, Cameron Love, Reese Presley, Liam Leone, Charlotte Cregan, and several others. Now, the enigmatic resurrection, rampage, and retribution of an undead monster named Johnny in a remote wilderness unleashes an iconic new killer after a locket is removed from a collapsed fire tower that entombed its rotting corpse. So, <laughs> in a violent nature. This is the closest thing we'll get to a Friday the 13th film for now, and that's honestly quite a shame. As ambitious as this concept is, the execution left me very unimpressed. Eager to revisit the Friday the 13th game, though, before those servers get shut down. Iconic kills aside, in a violent nature, is a reminder that there's a reason the killer's POV shouldn't make up 90% of your runtime. If nothing else, it just showed the next creative team for Friday the 13th what not to do with Jason Voorhees. It's a failed slasher project, a nothing burger of steady cam shots that tries to save itself with a few satisfying kills. Hell, if it were up to me, this movie would have been titled Homeward Bound, Johnny's Version. Nash's screenplay lacks a major quality, and that is that none of it is compelling. Well, okay, okay, I'll say that 95% of it isn't compelling. The 5% that is just comes from some impressive kills and practical effects. It's a frustrating pill to swallow considering this story is carried by a resurrected Johnny who wanders the woods, takes a few stops, and continues wandering. That's like what a majority of the pages of this screenplay read like, I would imagine. Johnny walks, 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 and walks. He wants this locket back, Johnny does, but not enough is done with this lore to warrant my investment. So there's like these tidbits of lore sprinkled throughout the movie, and it's all very surface level and hollow. Again, none of it is going to warrant your investment in anything that's transpiring on screen. Yes, Johnny is a villain, I get that, but the villain should still be interesting if we're expecting said antagonist to carry the story. To be fair, the POV concept could have worked a lot better if it was less Johnny stomping around like Bigfoot and more of him stalking the one-dimensional youths he inevitably slashes. Don't worry though, In a Violent Nature offers some of the most atrocious dialogue from a slasher this year. I say don't worry because perhaps it will make you chuckle the way I did. I had some fun with the movie, it just wasn't very good. <laughs> There's a shift around the third act placing us in the shoes of one of the protagonists, but this shift does very little to enhance the events that are unfolding. I mean, how can it? We mostly get to know these characters through horny dialogue bits and exposition dumping around a campfire. For most of that, in a violent nature is still taking place from the back of Johnny's head. So breaking away from Johnny's POV to a remaining survivor last minute leaves you as empty as Johnny's 60 minute plus hike did. Ryan Barrett is without question the best performance to be found here and it also of course helps when most of the film is centered on you in the back of your head and your giant Bigfoot like footsteps. His co-stars though, an absolute train wreck that are more fitting for an X-rated movie in terms of what they were giving in these roles. Definitely way more fitting for an X-rated type of film if you catch my drift. One of the more iconic kills on a cliff is undermined by an unconvincing display of fear from the actress involved with this sequence. She seemingly no-sells Johnny's intimidating presence with her unbothered facial expressions taken away from the brutality of the kill itself. Now, Nash's direction was a bust, but not a complete bust. There are some very cool moments or visually pleasing moments when it comes to the cinematography and I love some of the lighting decisions when it came to the night sequences those were about uh, I guess as much of the pros I could give him when it comes to the direction when it comes to that because like I said the acting very poor from everyone that's not Johnny or Ryan Barrett since he plays Johnny pacing a lot of these sequences they just drag on for far too freaking long especially those sequences of Johnny walking there's this one sequence during the third act of it takes place inside of a car. It's a car ride. I wanted this woman to shut up so bad. It was like the most drawn out conversation you will ever hear this year. Talking about a lot of nothing at the end of the day, because again, the shift to this protagonist, the remaining survivor, does nothing to enhance the experience. 
when they are all one dimensional and the only thing I've gotten to know about them is that they're horny. I don't spend any time with them to get to endure their personality. So there's no way for me to impossibly like them. So the shift to this protagonist at the very end was just very pointless, tedious, boring and served no purpose in the long run. Uh, like I stated, the pacing, very terrible for the most part. I'd argue that the lack of sound did more harm than good. This film just is void of any sort of tension or suspense. The efforts that it wants to, that it attempts to be suspenseful, they're not landing. If the efforts to be suspenseful are rooted in Johnny wandering the woods, you have failed. This felt like a invitation over to your friend's house to play Friday the 13th, the game, and you never got to play. You're sitting there watching them hog the controller. I would give In a Violent Nature a 4 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to so let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.